Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to bypass parental restrictions on your iPhone. You can also follow this guide on an iPad or iPod Touch, so just keep that in mind. So by the end of this tutorial, you can see here we have downtime, and I can't open up these applications. If I ask for more time, I do need to enter in my passcode uh, for screen time, which I do not know. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing this screen time passcode, which will also remove all of the parental restrictions. And then what I recommend you do personally is you go into screen time and you enable, re-enable it with your own passcode. And by re-enabling it with your own passcode, you lock your parents out and you can control the restrictions here. I do recommend you set the same restrictions as your parents, but as you know the passcode now, you can of course, you know, ask some more time yourself and then enter in that passcode. That's just something to keep in mind. So in order to get this started, you will need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. If you don't have access to a computer, if you borrow one from a friend, borrow one from a family member, you know, go to school, do this here. You know, there's a bunch of ways to get access to a computer. This only takes five minutes. And once it's done, it's done for life. So with that being said, I'm going to move to my computer and show you the next steps to take. On the computer, you just want to head over to supervise.me. The link will be in the description. Now, I know parents will also watch these screen time bypass tutorials and they will block all the links I show in order to prevent their kids from following these guides. And one thing I'm going to say is if you're a child and your parent has blocked this website, what you'll need to do is there's a couple of options. First of all, try using your phone, set up a hotspot, and then hotspot to your computer and see if you can access supervised.me that way. If you can't, you will need to set up a free VPN. Just search on Google, free VPN for Windows, and then download one of those and see if that works. If that still doesn't work, then you may need to go to, let's say, your school, use another device to download all the files shown in this video, and then send them over to your computer via, you know, email, something like that, where your parents cannot block. So what we're going to do, as once we're here, we're going to click on Screen Time Bypass, and we'll click on View here, and we'll just close for this message. And we see here the Screen Time Bypass. So there are step-by-step -step instructions, uh, which will show you how to do this if you really hate my voice, or let's say, you know, your screen time limit's about to end and you just need to follow text instructions. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Windows. If you're on Mac, there are dedicated instructions. You will just need to follow those on the website. So we need to download the backup. So we'll just click on this one, and we'll just see here the Screen Time Bypass.zip will download. If you see this ads here, whatever it says, just close out of it. Now what we're going to do is we just want to follow step one. So we see it download iBackerBot for Windows and iTunes. We need to download these two tools. So in order to download them, just click on it and it will redirect you to the iBackerBot download. And you can see iBackerBot is downloading here. Wait for it to finish a downloading and then set it up on your computer. Then we need to do the same for iTunes. So we'll just click into this one. And you can see iTunes is downloading. So make sure you have iTunes downloaded, set up. Same with iBackupBot. And once you have those two set up, we can proceed with the next step. So on the computer itself, what we need to do is we need to open up the file explorer. We need to navigate to downloads. And we just want to find that screen time bypass.zip. So we'll double click into this one and we should see this folder. So once we're here, we just want to click on extract tool. So we just want to extract the zip. And then we'll just click on extract and now the screen time bypass uh, backup has been extracted so once it's extracted we can now open up the iBackup bot application so i'm going to do that like so and when you open this application up you may get a bunch of error messages and pop-ups all that good stuff just click on ok to any messages you may see so the next step is we need to plug in our device to the computer. So I'm going to do that now. Once your device is connected to the computer, just go to the home screen and you may see a message which says trust the connection. Just tap on trust. It will ask you to enter in your passcode, enter in your passcode. And then once you're here, what we're going to do is we should see our device. You can see this is my iPhone 6S here, the very top. And so what we need to do is we're going to click on open the backup. We're going to navigate to downloads. I we just want to find that screen time bypass folder. So we'll double click into it, double click one more time, and you want to double click until you see no items match or search. Once we're here, we'll just click on select folder, and now the screen time bypass backup is here. So we're going to click on the plus, system files, and then search, and then config. Click on enter, and now you see configuration profiles. So what we're going to do is we're going to click into this one, and then we're going to click on restore. Now, there's one step very important you need to do on the device, and I'm going to show that now before we proceed. On the device itself, you need to head over to settings, and you need to navigate to the top here, and you'll most likely see your name. You need to tap into your name. There'll be an option for Find My, and you must turn off Find My before proceeding with the next step. 
If you don't turn off Find My, you will receive restore error, and that means you will not be able to proceed. If you can't find Find My, you can always Google a tutorial, and if you still are having issues, I just recommend you sign out of your iCloud account entirely. After restoring this backup, we can turn back on our iCloud account, we can turn back on Find My, so there's nothing to worry about. Seems like we have an error, just click on No for any of those. And so once Find My is turned off, you see where passcode is, just tap on it. And you just want to enter in a passcode, which is 1111. So just four ones, you know, just type on your keyboard 1111 four times. And then we'll click on OK. And now the backup will restore. So once we see the message which says restore completed, we are good to go. If you see restore error, I've covered everything earlier on in the video. So we can now click on OK. And you do not need the computer anymore. So if you need to delete all the files you downloaded, you can now delete all those files. I also recommend clearing your history or supervised.me just in case your parents are actually going to, you know, check out your computer. So, you know, just go and clear all the history and then you are good to go. You do not need a computer anymore. So on the device itself, it's now going to restart. So how this works is we'll just give it a couple of seconds. It'll bring you back to the setup screen and then it will be kicked back to the home screen and screen time will be disabled. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds. So you can see here's a setup screen. Just click home to open or swipe up, then click next and give it a couple of seconds and it should be brought straight to the home screen. So I don't want to cut this so you can see this is fully legit, what's about to happen here. And so any moment now, it's taking its time, you know. But it should bring us straight to the home screen, just like that. And once we're here, let's open up settings, screen time, and you can see screen time has been restricted. So that means you followed every instruction correctly. So once we're here, what we need to do is we need to unrestrict screen time. So here's the thing, you can leave it restricted if you want to, but let's say you're a child and you're following this guide. If your parents see screen time has been restricted, they know something's up, obviously. So what we need to do is we're gonna turn back on screen time with our own passcode to confuse the parent because you know they may just be stupid. So let's go to general here, VPN and device management. And you see these two profiles, I want you to delete both of them. So tap into this one, remove, remove, and then remove, remove. And then what we're going to do is we'll go back to screen time. Now you can see, turn on screen time. So we'll just tap on turn on, continue. Is this iPhone for yourself or your child? I recommend you set, you still set, this is my child's iPhone, even though it technically is your screw your parents, but set a downtime. I recommend you also set a downtime and app limits. And the reason why is because if you don't set a downtime and this is your own iPhone, you can turn off screen time without actually entering in the passcode. However, if you set downtime, if it's your child's iPhone, child's iPhone, then you can't turn off screen time without the passcode. So that will stop your parents in their tracks. Screen time passcode, obviously set whichever passcode you would like. And screen time recovery, just tap on cancel and skip for that. And there we go. We have now successfully set uh, up screen time with our own passcode and removed the old one. So there you go. That's how to bypass the uh, screen time passcode on your device. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. How badass is this? Bye-bye.